In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the rules of the air as they apply to a hill soaring pilot. When soaring hills, glider pilots have an exemption under the 500 foot rule, but this shouldn't be used or abused by flying unnecessarily close to hill walkers or any other users of the countryside. When hill soaring, gliders must always turn away from the hill, never towards it. Other gliders will expect you to do this and will fly accordingly. If you found a thermal, for instance, a series of S turns is recommended until you've climbed well clear of both the hill and other gliders. Always overtake other gliders on the hillside. Remember that they can turn away from the hill at any time and you will be in their blind spot. When approaching another glider head on, the glider with the hill on his right hand side has right of way. The glider with the hill on his left must therefore give way. Forward visibility in many modern gliders can be limited. Often pilots find it easier to see ahead if they lower the nose a little. This in turn increases the closing speed. Allow plenty of time. Avoid flying overhead or below other gliders. The other gliders may not be able to see you. If he changes speed, he may climb or descend rapidly. Finally, sometimes you'll find it difficult or even impossible to follow these rules, particularly on a short and a busy ridge. It becomes your resp responsibility then to avoid any risk of collision, anticipate the likely behavior of other gliders and follow the traffic flow. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and stay safe. See you next time.